Hello, I want to apply for the position of raider. Let's see. Insulated wood, sandstone, black ice. It looks like you've destroyed them all. On paper, you're the ideal candidate for this job. But I just have one question for you. What color is an orange? Old Craig, you bonehead. Its color is the same as its name. Just like a lemon. For better or for worse, Conan Exiles is a game that is continually evolving. Certain options are removed and others are introduced. Thus far in the series, How to Defend Against Explosives, we've taken a journey through the art of defense across 10 videos plus one base mode video. This 11th installment is going to verify which techniques still work and introduce new ways of using them. The foundation stacking 2.0 method still works. The key to this method are these two shapes, two foundations placed in one direction and four wedges placed in the reverse. I'll try to keep commentary to a minimum and show real time building. You can now layer walls or fence foundations. If you want to add side walls or ceilings, you need to add them first, then place the inner three walls. I left the near side wall open so you can see the inside, but to enclose the cube, place all the side walls first. Only fence foundations can then be placed on the inside. Walls won't snap. I've received a lot of comments concerning corners, so I'll address the issue now. You should always try to use the terrain to your advantage when possible, but if you must resort to building corners, then you can use this method. It is no longer possible to cross walls or fences, so you'll have to pick a direction that you want the corner walls to run. Obviously with this setup, one side is going to be stronger than the other. Next I'll build a small demo base to show how to incorporate various designs. Building out in the open like this would be a terrible idea, but these techniques can be applied elsewhere. Also, remember that passive defense is only truly effective if you are actively defending it. Otherwise, it's just a speed bump for the raiders. What I'm doing now is ceiling stacking from videos 5 and 6. Placing a wall gives you two options for foundation placement. The ceilings need to be anchored to the ground for support. I prefer to use pillars. You have several options available when it comes to integrating the walls with the ceilings. First, let's build up the bottom floor. Remove the ceilings and place a wall first. Then replace the ceilings. From here, you can favor walls if you think the raiders will attack from the sides, or you can favor ceilings if you think the raiders will attack from above. If you want more of a hybrid style integration, you can do that as well. Instead of starting your ceiling stacking on the outer fence, pick one of the inner fences and start ceiling stacking from there.
I'm going to proceed with the first method and build a portion of the base by repeating the steps we've already seen. We need a way to access the base, so I'll stack a bunch of doorways. Doors are always a weakness, so add more layers if needed and try to keep them off of ground level. As I add the inner fences to each cube, you'll notice that I can't add them to the doorway. Remember only fences can stick through ceilings. To adjust for this, remove the ceiling above the doorway. Now complete the doorway by adding the upper ceiling, then add a wall above each doorway by looking up through the cracks. The doorway is complete, now fill in the rest of the ceilings. If you want to add a rooftop entrance, you can add hatch frames to each of the ceiling layers. Alright, that wraps up this video. I hope this clears up any confusion as to what is possible and what has been patched. I appreciate your support to this channel, and I look forward to making more content. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.